I'm Lindsay Allen. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. And I'm Luke Kuiper. Plus, I'm trained out in 37 years. Today, we're talking about protein. Why do we need protein? So the obvious answer is to build and preserve muscle. You have to get plenty of protein if you want to build muscle, especially if you're working out. The more active you are, the more protein you need. Protein is the material what you need to build your muscles. But there's other benefits too. It improves bone strength and density, joints and joint mobility, helps build healthy hair, skin, and nails, and it increases satiety. So protein's the one macronutrient that helps you feel fuller and longer. There's lots of debate and lots of misconceptions about the types of protein out there. I would say the biggest one being plant-based proteins versus animal proteins. Something to keep in mind is that protein has to be bioavailable. That means we have to readily absorb it and we also have to be able to use it from a bodybuilding perspective. Jorg, what do you think about plant protein in a bodybuilder? When I was judging uh, for a bodybuilding competition, you could tell, you can tell when the athlete standing on the stage, you can tell somebody who is using like uh, meat products as a protein source looks much more dense. The quality is much, much better. While when you see somebody who's using like a soy protein or a plant-based protein, the muscle almost looks like watery and has not, you can't get the same quality, you can. It's also hard to build muscle. I'm thinking of one client in particular. She came to us as a vegan. We got her to change because we just noticed she wasn't building the same muscle. After two weeks, you could tell the difference. She was gaining muscles and the quality was much, much better. We can't recommend plant-based proteins. How about whey protein or casein? So these are dairy proteins made out of milk or the byproducts of cheese. What do you think about whey? What problems do you see with that? The negative side from whey protein is nobody wants to have this feeling, this bloating feeling, what you're gonna get from whey protein, even if you don't have this lactose in intolerance. Yeah, I think it's common for people to be sensitive to dairy in general. And then when you extract the proteins from the dairy products, it just makes it worse. Protein powder, which is made from real food, is much, much easier for the body. In general, I don't think whey is the best option either. So let's talk about 5% shake time real food protein powder. This is made from real food. Not made out of dairy proteins, definitely not plant-based. It's made out of beef, chicken, and eggs. It's basically the closest thing you can get to actually eating animal foods or eating meat without having to eat so much. So I know with our female clients, sometimes they have a hard time getting in the protein. They don't wanna eat so much meat or they don't wanna yeah. eat so much steak. My weight loss clients, they need something to help with those sugar cravings. Why not use this, put it in a blender with some ice, maybe half a banana. Now you have your chocolate protein shake and it tastes great. So let's just talk about the ingredients a little bit. Really high quality, our body can use it, very little waste and no fillers at all in this product. Only two and a half grams of fat, 230 milligrams of sodium, two grams of carbohydrates and zero sugar but you wouldn't know that there's no sugar in this product because it tastes that good. It tastes where you're gonna look forward to, to drink your next protein shake. So food first. We're all about eating real food first before even thinking about a supplement. A supplement is there to enhance your results. There's nothing better than a real food source. This is made from real food, but it's also not gonna replace real food. And then supplement with a protein powder or use it for sugar cravings or use it when you're on the go. Shake time is really easy to just fill in that gap that might be missing.